This is a story about Poplar Point and a rare and unique wetland. Poplar Point is the largest point on Laclabish Lake. It is located 40 kilometers from Plamondon and 40 kilometers from the town site of Laclabish Lake. It is the furthest lakeshore community from any amenities. Sparsely populated by innovative ranchers, farmers, and third and fourth generation landowners, Poplar Point is predominantly productive agricultural land. A small subdivision of acreages sits on the west shoreline and is heavily treed with a 200-foot environmental setback and no artificial lighting. Areas like this one, on a large point with sheltered bays, were preferred sites for indigenous tribal living and is of interest to archaeologists. In the 1970s and the 1980s, Edward J. McCullough located 195 late prehistoric sites and 50 historic sites, some of which were located on Poplar Point. Along the west side of Poplar Point is a very old, very rare, and unique wetland for Laclabish Lake. Few people know about this very important part of Laclabish Lake. There's little boat traffic, and it is inaccessible by road. We asked local wetland classification specialist Michael Schulz to talk about lakeshore wetlands and why this wetland is particularly important to the health of Laclabish. Yeah, wetlands are, are very important to, uh, to lake health because they serve as a buffer between uh, upland areas and the open water areas. So um, they uh, play a big role in, in cleaning the water, removing toxins, removing extra nutrients um, from the water before it hits the lake, removing sediment. Um, they also are extremely productive ecosystems uh, where they're, they're taking uh, this uh, stuff that would other, uh, otherwise pollute the lake and turning it into stuff that is really valuable uh, food and habitat for a variety of different kinds of animals. And the wetland that, uh, that this project is, it's a type of wetland called a fen. Um, and, and perhaps uh, some bog wetland as well in that area. Um, those kinds of wetlands take a really long time to form, hundreds or thousands of years for the peak to build up to, uh, to create that kind of unique kind of wetland. Uh, so they are really uh, valuable wetlands, uh, fens, because they're very productive wetlands. They have, a, a, that means that they produce a lot of valuable food. Um, and, and vegetation for, for animals and, and they also will help to or do a really good job of, of filtering water and in addition to storing carbon which is uh, important as far as we're, our considerations for greenhouse gases. Wetlands along lake shores provide very, uh, a number of very important functions. Um, so they provide habitat for the birds themselves. Um, so a number of species of birds will, um, will nest in different parts of different types of wetlands that, that we have. Uh, so we could have the, the, the vegetation that's sort of more out in the water. And that provides uh, nesting spots for things like grebes, which build floating nests. Another important thing that these uh, lakeshore wetlands provide for the birds um, is just a great food source. So uh, a nice healthy intact wetland along the lakeshore will have huge productivity as far as the number of species of insects that are going to be able to grow and thrive in those habitats as well as these provide an extremely important um, sort of nursery area for a lot of the different fish species. So then the birds, uh, you'll get things like herons and bitterns and that sort of thing which are taking advantage of things like the fish and the amphibians and other things there that are, um, are utilizing that as food as well. The western grebe breeds in Alberta from May 1st to August 31st. Due to a 30% decline over 10 years, the Alberta Species of Risk declared the western grebe as a threatened species, and the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife designated the western grebe as a bird of special concern. The western grebe is on the shoreline of Poplar Point. As a grebe, I know that they do um, they do create their nests on these kind of those floating mats of vegetation. I know that they're a threatened species, so they are on the Alberta Species at Risk Registry, and so they are uh, a species that the government is actively trying to 
conserve and they just put out recently a, a new conservation plan for for the uh, the western grebe and I know that Laclavish is one of the really important nesting areas for the western grebe. Yeah, so repairing areas are, are, are kind of a similar concept to, to the wet, lakeshore wetlands, um, but a riparian area includes the wetland area, but it also extends further up the shore from, from the true wetlands. So it includes areas that are, you know, directly impacted by the moisture. So they're gonna be more productive areas than the rest of the upland areas. They're gonna be better habitat. And they're also gonna be much more important than the, the rest of the upland area for making sure that water gets filtered and, and, and that sort of stuff before it enters the stream or the lake. I, I will mention that there is there just is not a lot of the area of Lac La Biche shoreline that has been or, or other peatlands adjacent to it. So that is something that makes this area fairly unique. Most of the Lac La Biche shoreline just goes from water to marsh, maybe a bit of swampy area, um, and then upland. Whereas this one has this really neat um, area that goes into fen um, and. That fen area then can actually uh, really help with absorbing, uh, because it's connected directly to the lake and help with absorbing when we have really high water levels like we, what we have been having. A lot of water uh, has been absorbed into that fen area. And you just don't see it because it's in the soil, it's in the peat, but occupying all the pore spaces within the, the, that peaty soil. Probably as far as acting as a buffer for, for flooding, those kinds of areas are, are providing us with a per unit area much much higher impact for, for absorbing flood and also for uh, helping the, the lake in lower years to maintain its water levels. Laclavish County they've got a really good uh, repairing setback matrix. Wetland area in this development it goes for a long long ways before it hits the shore and so the the, um, the, the setback matrix will only take a certain distance from the lake, but here it, it probably ought to be the, the lake, then the entire wetland area, and then in addition to that, some additional transitional upland area. This is an important wetland, an important riparian area, an unbroken wildlife corridor.